Mavic 3 Pro allows you to create hyperlapse quickly and easily. Here is a short beginner video. Hyperlapse combines time-lapse photography with a drone capturing a series of still images at time-lapse intervals, say two or five seconds. And these images are then put together to create a video. To start Hyperlapse, click on the single image or video and Hyperlapse is in both submenus and scroll down to Hyperlapse and select it. The Mavic 3 Pro Hyperlapse has four direction settings. These are free, circle, course lock and waypoint. The free flying lets you control the Mavic 3 Pro when hyperlapsing. The circle goes round active tracking the person or object at a set speed. The waypoints allows you to choose multiple points and then navigate to each waypoint in order to take images while doing the hyperlapse. And the final one is course locks, which is the most straightforward, which is the one I'm going to use today. The course lock allows you to choose a course and then the Mavic 3 Pro will continue in that direction for the duration of the hyperlapse. DJI limit the interval for hyperlapse to a photograph every two seconds and this is quite a good starting point. You can also make it longer, say five seconds for a quicker moving scene. It'll go up to 30 seconds. You can also choose the speed of the drone. DJI does all of the calculations, takes the hyperlapse and then creates the video at the end in the app. It gives you the duration, the number of frames, i.e. the photos are gonna take, and the video length. A hyperlapse of 125 frames or 125 photographs makes a five second video at 25 frames a second. I will now fast forward to the end to the last few frames of the time lapse and then you can watch the finished five second video at the end. At the end of this video, time stamped at 3 minutes 35, I have put the full version of my cool quarry hyperlapse video which you saw at the beginning with tilt shift focus and with music. So this is what's possible. We're coming to the end of the fast forward now. You'll see we come up to 120 images and now it'll go through them every two seconds up to the 125th image. And once it gets to that point now, it starts to create the video. You'll also see the drone return to home. At the bottom left hand side, you'll see the drone flying backwards and going back at, to return to home. It flies back at a lot faster speed than it went out. It went out at 0.5 meters a second. It's come back at about five meters a second. So you can see it's coming back now and it'll end up going back to the home point. And here it's flying back to the home point. Now you'll see the five second video play after this is finished. Here we go. You can see the clouds moving and that's the five second video. If you enjoyed this video then subscribe to the channel or watch the next video in the playlist or the new videos that we've just recently downloaded. Bye for now.